So now we want to look at a different type of factorizing. And this, in this situation, notice we have four terms. One, two, three, four. So we have four terms. What do we do, we do with when these unique cases? Well, we do what we call factorizing by grouping. And how we go about this? We group the first two terms. So we're going to group this term and group this term. And we're going to factorize each group separately. All right, we're going to factorize each group separately. All right, so let's do this. Let's focus on the first pair, pair of um, terms. Let's focus on the first pair. So we ask ourselves, 2x squared minus 3x, what is the common factor? What's the common factor for 2 and 3? Well, that's 1. And then we have x squared and x, so we have x in both terms. So the common factor here is x. Now, if we, now we need to determine what we put inside of the bracket here. And so, just like in the previous video, we can do so by dividing both of these terms by whatever the highest common factor is. In this case, x. And this is just to assist us with what to put in the bracket. So here, x into x squared is x. So we just 2x. Here, and this x into this x is 1. So all, all we have is minus 3. The other, the other pair of expression, the other pair, uh, it's, that's the highest common factor here. For 8 and 12, it's 4, positive 4. Is the x common? No, the x is not, so it's just 4. And now we need to determine what to put in the bracket. So we divide both of these terms by whatever your factor out, whatever the highest common factor is for. All right, four, right? And so four into eight, that's two, so hence two x. And minus 12 divided by four, that's minus three. And again, you can always do a quick check to make ensure your factor is correctly. x times 2x, that's 2x squared. x times minus 3, that's minus 3x. The other, the other pair of terms, 4 times 2x, that's 8x. 4 times minus 3, that's minus 12. So remember, factorize means to rewrite. So whenever you, whenever you expand your bracket, you must get the original thing. Now, lastly, make sure you get a common bracket. If you don't get a common bracket, then Something is wrong. Something, something is off, so I might need to do something else. All right? So notice we have a common bracket. I will see a common factor here. What's common? Here, correct. 2x minus 3. So again, you factor again 2x up minus 3. And if you factor out, notice 2x minus 3 is in both terms. So if you factor out 2x minus 3 from both terms, you're left with positive x and positive 4. And we are done. Now here is another four-term expression. So we're going to be, we're going to factor by grouping again. So we look at the first pair here, and we break it up into two groups. So the first group and the first pair and expressions, we examine and the common factor is here what q q is a common factor oh, we have q in both terms and now we need to determine what goes inside the bracket so we divide each of these terms by what we have outside which is q so q into 2q leave us with those two and q into q square that's just q in the other group, what's the common factor? P, 
but we take out minus p because the terms begins with a negative x number so we take out minus p so we need to divide both of these terms by whatever you take out which is minus p Divide both terms by minus p. So, careful now. And by the way, minus p means minus 1p. Just as our minus x means minus 1x. So, it's minus 2 divided by minus 1. That's positive 2. And then p into p. Leave us with just 1. So, it's just positive 2. Here, view it as 1pq. Look at it as 1pq. And look at it as negative 1p. So 1 divided by negative 1. Yes, negative. And then p into p. Alright, so all we are left with is q. Notice we have a common bracket. Alright, so what's the common factor we have here? 2 minus q. And we factor the 2 minus q. What are we left with? q minus p. And remember, when you factorize here, always do a quick check. Q times 2, that's 2Q. And Q times minus Q, that's minus Q squared. The other bracket, negative P times 2, that's negative 2P. And negative P times negative Q, remember negative times negative, positive PQ. So we are confident that the factorization was done correctly. So here is another one. So... Four terms. So we group them, put them into groups. First group, second group. So we group each, group each and we factorize each group separately. So, first group, what's our common factor? You're correct. The two is common, the h is also common. So 2h. So we we'll divide each term by 2h. And this is just to assist us in terms of what we put inside of the bracket. So our 2 divided into 2 is 1. h into h. So our real effort is just m. And then over here, and 2 into 2, h into h, so we're left just with n. Let's do the other, other group, other pair. What's the common factor here now? So, is k common? Yes, k is common. m common? No. n common? No. And the 3, but it begins with minus 3, so we take out minus 3. And the k is also common. So we need to determine the terms of the bracket. So we divide both of these by minus 3k. Whatever is outside. So minus 3 into minus 3, that's positive. And then k into k, so we are left with positive m, positive 1m. And then over here, um, 3 divided by negative 3, that's what, negative 1, so it's a negative, of course. Negative 1, k into k, so we are just left with n. And you can just do a quick check to ensure that you factor correctly. Expand the bracket and make sure you have the original thing original expression. So we have a common factor, m minus n, and if we factor out m minus n, what are we left with here now? 2h and minus 3k. And we are done. Let's look at one last of this type. So, again we have a four term expression. What do we do? Factor by groups.
All right. So group this. I will group these last two. And for the first group, what's our common factor? M. So the common factor here is M. Now we need the terms for the bracket. So we divide each of these terms by M. So M into M leaves one, so it's just one P. And M into M leaves one, so it's just minus three. Over here, what's our common factor here now? And W into W. Sorry, I made an error here. The highest common factor is actually is actually two W. Alright? Sorry about that. Because two is also a common, right? Thanks for correcting me. So it's two W. Which means that we divide each term by and how do I recognize our problem just now? The brackets were not the same. So right away I recognize there was some error. Alright, so two into two, one, double into double one. So we just left with P. I would say two double into two double leave one. Leave just P. And double into double leave one. And negative six divided by two, that's minus three. And again, you can always expand the bracket to ensure you get the original expression. M times P, that's MP, RPM. M times minus three, that's minus three M. Two double times P, that's two double P. And two double times minus three, that's minus six double. So, the common factor here is P minus 3. And then, factor out P minus 3, we're left with M plus 2 double. And we're done. In the next video, we're going to look at factorizing quadratic expressions. Goodbye.